Hey everyone, welcome to another Community Spotlight. Hi, my name is Brian Schrader. I'm with the Coastline NC Real Estate Team at Blue Coast Realty Corporation. Hey, welcome back. We are going to talk about Grayson Park. Grayson Park is a community that's located in Leland, uh, minutes outside of downtown Wilmington. Uh, you see it's close to this area here. This is the riverfront, the historic district of Wilmington, where you'll find multiple restaurants, things to do. Uh, bars, pubs, you name it. It's a place, a good place to hang out. So one of the unique things about Grayson's Park is that its location is close to area beaches, such as Wrightsville Beach, as you can see here in this video. This is a shot of Wrightsville. This is one of the east-facing beaches. It's about 30 minutes away, but as you can see, it's got pretty white sands, blue waters, and it's nice to be able to have access to this beach. Um, another beach to the south, about 30 minutes to the south, is Oak Island. As you can see here in this video, here's a shot of Oak Island. Again, it's a little, more, a little bit more laid back here, but you have your choice as a resident if you live in Grayson's Park. So moving on to the map here, you can see at the red area, this is where the community is located, just outside to the west of downtown Wilmington. Um, we're going to take a closer look at uh, the community this is a shot of the, the flood map in Grayson Park. And uh, you'll see here there's some pink lines. That's zone A, a little bit of the brown zone AE. But this is where it gets a little bit tricky in this neighborhood because a lot of the homes and home sites that are in zone A are actually been removed from zone A and are now in zone X, which do not require you to carry flood insurance. So um, I always recommend people to reach out to your insurance agent or give me a call if you're curious about, hey, is this home or home site in, in this zone? What is it? Because it's very difficult and you have to really dig a little bit deep to get down to the uh, nitty gritty, so to speak. So what I can tell you is most of those homes uh, in that pink zone have been removed uh, from that zone and do not require flood insurance. So moving on to the numbers in Grayson's Park, uh, taxes are assessed based on assessed value. So if you own a home in Grayson Park and it's assessed at $350,000, you'll pay roughly around $2,500 in annual real estate taxes. The HOAs on a single family home are $996 per year. That gives you access to the amenities, pool, the fitness center, the ground sidewalks, and tennis courts. Now, the there's some townhomes in Grayson Park. There's new ones, there are two-story ones, and there's some with garages, some without garages, and there's also some one-level townhomes as well. Now, on average, they're, they, the HOA is there around 200, I'm sorry, $2,796 per year. And that covers all the amenities, but it also covers your hazard insurance, your wind and hail insurance, the maintenance of the exterior, and also the roof. Now, between those different sections, that number can vary slightly from one section to the other. So if you want a specific HOA on a specific uh, townhome, please, please give us a call. We can verify that number for you. So let's take a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit closer look at the community. Here you can see the tennis courts, the basketball court, the outdoor pool, which is uh, now open. There was some question there a couple years back about the pool. It is now open. It's now April fifteenth, and you can see here people are outside enjoying this wonderful amenity in Grayson Park. One uh, other unique thing about Grayson Park is that it is a natural gas community. So you can run your tankless hot water heaters, your cooktops, uh, fireplaces on the natural gas grid here, which is pretty unique to the area because most neighborhoods do not have natural gas in the Wilmington area. Here's a shot of some of the uh, single family homes. Uh, they are still building in Grayson's Park. They have a variety of different builders. As you can see here, they have a nice layout here to the neighborhood. A lot of them have nice big backyards as well, but there is a variety and they're still continuing to build. There's some new sections, as you can see here in the back, and they're still continuing to build. You cannot buy a home site and, and just hold on to it. Most of these builds are gonna be land house packages. Here you see in the distance, here are some of the two-story townhomes uh, in the neighborhood. As, as I, we uh, spoke about earlier, there are some one-level 
townhomes as well. They're going to be more on the resale market. They're a little bit older. But here's a shot of that section. You can see they're one level. They all have two car garages, about four or five to a building. So if you're looking for that low maintenance lifestyle, it might be a good fit for you. But the neighborhood is night out. Um, like I said, they've got, you know, probably another 25% uh, left to go in Grayson's Park. But if you have any questions about uh, you know anything we talked about today about like, hey, what's for sale, I'm gonna post a link in the bottom of the comment section of this video so you can go to the page and check out you know the comps, check out what's for sale, what's available now. But for any other questions about the HOA, those flood zones can be a little tricky or, you know, hey, what's new? Um, a lot of those homes are pre-built, so a lot of times they're not complete. They might be six months out, four months out. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to give me a call. Again, it's Brian Schrader with the Coastline NC Real Estate Team at Blue Coast. And thank you for watching our videos. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like, and we hope to see you guys here on the next Community Spotlight. Thank you.